are just so happy. Yeah. I was very passionate about the cows and the sheep. It's my favorite, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favorite? I'm sitting out here in the field of cows talking to you guys because this is my happiest place outside of the horse barn. Um, I, I have found myself in the last... Storm's snickering at you and saying hi. It is an absolute gorgeous day to end the year. Um, tomorrow, it may not be this way. They're talking like it could be like two degrees. You know, fun stuff. Um, just kind of doing our own thing today. We still have cat. Ooh, it's a little slippery day. Still have cows to feed. So normal chores to do. Um, had some stuff going on early this morning. I'm done with. Did some brainstorming stuff for different things. And I'm ready for the new year. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm I'm ready for t what 22 is going to be for me. And hopefully this channel and what Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife has become. Um, kind of nicknamed it the CFW, short-termed it. Um, been working on some just different things within it. And yeah. I hope it means what I want it to portray. I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Um, being a farm wife, being a farm mom, being a farmer, uh, sharing essentially my farm story with all of you guys. So. We'll just see what the day holds. Thanks for tagging along. Thanks for leaving us a thumbs up, for commenting, for subscribing, and uh, sharing our life with us. Oh yeah, they're coming. They're coming. dogs at home too because they're just getting they're just getting all around but work, worked up here oh they're happy now so the deal is these cows are not chasing us down they're not trying to intentionally run us over they're just happy cows they are they're just happy look at the grass regrowth down here yeah maybe on this grass now So we're just moving them. Um, we've moved them through two paddocks now. We're working on moving them through the third paddock. <sighs> For 
drinking Cookie. Cookie's not where she's supposed to be at. difference with how they're feeling and everything. Through three pro three paddocks just in the last five minutes or so or less probably. And that's the really nice thing about you know when you're feeding your cows or you're rotating your cows on rotational grazing the way we do, your cows are just more apt to move. They just move better. Um, they're calmer for the most part. They know you. They're anticipating it. Every time you hear that poly wire click 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 of you know, rolling up or unrolling, they know they're being moved. They kind of anticipate it, so they're already at the gate knowing they're going to better grass. Yes. Yeah. So, we are very fortunate to get to do what we love. Um, the cattle thing just really started for us at the end of 2018. We really um, just kind of threw ourselves into it and got it going, didn't we? Yep. Yep. We've got a lot of different color out here. A lot of different breeds. There's some South Poles from Greg Judy. There's Black Hereford. There's Angus. There's Red Angus. Um, there's some Hereford. There's some Charlay. There's obviously some mixes because we have a Red Semi Angus Bull. We have an Angus Bull. And then we are slowly, um, we bought those two really fancy Black Hereford registered ladies that are at the house that the kids have been working with to show in the summertime. Um, they're going to be changing the way we do our herd. But the thing with cattle is it's going to take a while. Like we've got a herd established and it's really good and I really enjoy it. But the thing is I want, I want more. Like that's just the world we live in and we want, we want more. So, but in the meantime, it's not just about being more. I want quality. I want um, consistency. Just like we, pra we practice in our, you know, our hay business. Jason wants good hay every single time we bale. You know, the same size bale same quality goes to the customer each and every time you know he backs himself on that quality so as we start um, phasing out some of these older cows essentially coal cows we are going to add back into the herd with this black Hereford line they're a lot calmer they're a lot more docile they're going to be a smaller framed cow we really with rotational grazing and regenerative ag you need that smaller poundage you want you know I'm looking at 1150 1200 max and that's at that third trimester before they drop their baby um, there's some cows out here that are 14 15 maybe topping that right under 1600 pound and that puts a lot of pressure not on the ground but on uh, calving side of it calving ease with the cows they eat a lot they move a lot they weigh them more so like if you think about it, you can have one 1,600-pound cow average out to, you know, two 900-ish pounders. So you just have to play with those numbers and know exactly what um, acres you can cover with cows or sheep or hogs or whatever you are, you know, doing. And that's kind of one of the things we've kind of had to learn over the year. Mama talked a lot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mama's very passionate about the cows, isn't she? It's my favorite, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favorite? Um, the barrel racing horses. Barrel racing horses is her favorite. What's Bubba's he think? Bail and hang? Um, no. His is, um, cows. His is cows? Yeah. Bubba likes the cows. Anywho, this is the stuff you guys are going to start seeing more of. Um, just me talking bluntly about the cattle and our business and what it entails.
number four? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to go back to town. We gotta go over here to this tree. Because um, one of the they were in. So the barn, the hill, that paddock. Yeah, you're right. Four paddocks. Good thing you don't rely on me, huh? I'm pretty sure you have horse poop in your hat. a long long time coming um you guys have seen us kind of uh, go from this rebranding thing i've been doing for the past six months or so now um you've seen us be part of lazork farms and chronicles of a farmer's wife and and here we are we are we're to the point where i literally felt like i i needed to be um myself like authentically authentically my myself and i'm i'm standing out here in the field of cows talking to you guys because this is my happiest place outside of the horse barn um i i have found myself in the last better part of two years with the help of you guys um, i left my finance career after a decade i have struggled with mental health issues and at the end of the day, I am not just a farmer's wife. I'm not just a farm mom or a farmer's daughter. I, I am the farmer. And that plays such a big part of my life. So here's a little bit of a sneak into what's to come in this 2022 year here at the farm, at Wazork Farms. Um, hi, Heifer. Um, yeah so watch as things start shifting watch as new things play out i i am so excited um i'm like shaking um i just literally made this decision in the tractor after praying on it and like looking looking to where we're at and how far we've come um not with just the cows but with the youtube channel and everything that holds holds importance to me so thank you from the bottom of my heart as we continue this shift and rebranding and uh, discovering who Caleb Azork is. <sighs> what do you think, sis? <laughs>